ladies and gentlemen, in an increasingly dangerous and serious world, I'm going to do my best to be as silly and nonsensical this video. Snap, crackle, pop, and I'm going to try and blame it on the sun. Because when the sun acts weird, people act weird, and the weather acts weird, and then I act like an idiot. All right. There were simultaneous explosions on the sun yesterday. September 18th, the sun's southern hemisphere convulsed all at once. And did you feel it? Was it good for you? All right. And yeah, we've been having tremendous earthquakes lately. A bunch of sevens have hit like three in the last week or two. And then like Alaska, Taiwan, and um, I mean, Alaska, Japan, and Puerto Rico right here with a hurricane. And Bitcoin got kicked in the nuts, falling as low as $18,277, which would only be $600 above its 52-week low. So, all right. I like to give you guys that good information. Um, and here, talking about a subject that I have discussed often, you have a Saturn square Uranus. And so here we had a major heat wave here, I think. Now here was the cold wave and then here was the heat wave. And so this was the kickoff. I mean, I'm getting shit wrong probably, but I'm just saying every time something like this happened, it was a major deal, but these were like pinpoints. Whereas now we're building up to, so you can see it's like kind of natural disaster city lately. And this shit's going to last for like a month and kind of peak out near the start of October. So yeah, definitely buckle up and buckle in for a wild, wacky, crazy, dangerous middle of September through the middle of October. And then that shit drops off a cliff and finally goes away. And here's that area, spring of 2023, where I'm like, all right, shit might get a whole lot better right around here. So hang on and try to keep the faith and keep hope and stay cool if you can. And last night, uh, me and my nephew went and saw the Red Hot Chili Peppers at Ranger Stadium here in Arlington, Texas. They're with the Strokes and Thundercat. And oh my God, the Chili Peppers were so freaking incredibly amazing in person. The fact that four people can team up and be that good and talented and just play hit after hit after hit that the entire stadium sings to. It was pretty amazing, man. It was super duper amazing. So please let me say thank you again to everybody in Asteroid Fight Club who has loved me, supported me, watched me over the years. Thanks to my friends, my family. Thank you to the Red Hot Chili Peppers, the Strokes. I think Julian was in a very bad mood yesterday. He's the lead singer of the Strokes. Anyway, um, <laughs> if you're in a bad mood, and you're playing in front of 50,000 fans. I think it shows. Anyway, we all have bad days. Anyway, that show last night was so incredible. All right. So the GFS is like, you got trouble again coming up in about 11 days. And oh, maybe this will curve out to see. This could be poor. This, who knows what is going to happen. But the GFS has been kind of showing this on and off again. So I would definitely watch out for it. And we will, you know, I, I no longer live on the coast. I'm up here, so technically I'm safe from hurricanes, but I'm still doing what I can to give you guys important information ahead of time. And yeah, dude, we're going to be on hurricane high alert definitely through the middle of uh, October. Yeah, did I show you the chart? If you've been paying attention to the news lately, like tons of thousand-year floods, you got hurricane hits multiple areas, you got major earthquakes, that have been deadly. One in Mexico today was dangerous and deadly. So buckle up, stay cool, play defense. But some people be like, hey, you're not my mom. You can't tell me what to do. So I'm just going to take fly my passenger jet through a hurricane, which is what this passenger jet did. And well, I guess it lived because we didn't hear about it crashing. But it's not flown over the Bermuda Triangle yet, I guess. I would have compassion and say a prayer for the people affected and a lot of the natural disasters we've seen lately and then be grateful to God, Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit or whoever you are grateful to if your life is good, decent and stable and you have anything good and any people or pets you love there's a lot of 
things to be grateful for out there. And remember, uh, the future is uncertain and the end is always near. So we don't know how many days we have or tomorrows. 32 inches of rain in Ponce, Puerto Rico from Fiona. It's exceptional. A small tsunami hit after the 7.6 earthquake in Manz or in Mexico. They said it was a 7.5 and then they upgraded it. They don't usually upgrade stuff. Usually they downgrade. But this one, they upgraded. But yeah, there was a post-tsunami. And I got to say, in my opinion, it is not a good thing when you see buildings jiggling like jello. Yeah, that building is jiggling like jello. This is from Mexico. And that building, I'll say it again. Or say it with me. It's jiggling like jello. Some people may like it in their booty, but not in their buildings. Although those girls seem to like it in their buildings. <laughs> it's a weird world, man. I guess it's fight, flight, or laugh. Yeah. I mean, hell, if you're standing in the middle of a 7.6 earthquake, everything's shaking around you, and you start laughing and smiling, I guess it's a decent response here. Looking at the pool in Mexico, shaking like water. Well, the people in Bermuda, not only do you have to watch out for living in the triangle, but I guess the Bermuda Triangle is not as popular as it used to be as far as conspiracy theories go. But what I'm trying to say is if you're in Bermuda, you got to watch out for this thing as it goes north. Here's Hurricane Fiona, and it is expected to be possibly a major hurricane all the way up to uh, Newfoundland. Isn't that crazy? Crazy world, man. Crazy times. And in all the earthquakiness, there was a 4.4 earthquake in Littlefield, Arizona. And remember, just like I don't know, two, three weeks ago, I was like, man, it is not as earthquakey as I thought it would be with Pluto, Saturn, Neptune, Jupiter, Eris, Uranus all over here. And then the Earth kind of doing the Earth passing by Saturn. Like, so I, I thought it was going to be super earthquakey, but it was not. But now it is. Because you got Earth passing by like. Neptune and Jupiter are pretty close to each other. Anywho, so yeah, stay tuned, man. Like, uh, have I shown you the chart? Yeah, I have. Hi, can I take a second to just talk about me? All right, so I turned 50 December last year, and 50 is absolutely, without a doubt, the weirdest age I've ever lived. And it reminds me of World of Warcraft when... My paladin, my main, turned 50 for the first time, level 50. At first, I was like, this is going to be great. But then, you know, it, you used, you, you're you super underpowered at 50, so you get your ass kicked all the time. But then, like, 55 and up is great. I'm not sure it's going to be that way in real life, but I'm just saying. I'm having reflections of back in the day where it was like at 49, I was super badass at level 49. But then you turn 50 and you're back down at the bottom of the barrel. I didn't tell that story as well as I wanted to. Anyway, just 50's a weird year, man. 50's weird. All right, Tornado Kid. Um, talking about Central to Southern Colorado Rockies. You guys better, better definitely look out for flooding if you're anywhere near these four corners. You have flood watches up and then heat watches. And it has definitely been floody and earthquakey lately. And someone just said we entered um, mud season. Remember, not too long ago, a third of the entire nation of Pakistan was underwater. And now you have large swaths of Puerto Rico totally underwater. So once again, I highly recommend saying a prayer for everybody who needs a little help these days. Definitely people in Puerto Rico. And be grateful for anything good in your life. And for the fact that your you know, civilization hasn't collapsed, World War III hasn't broken out. And we're still hanging in there. Weird side story. I was tweeting the guys in the strokes in some of the chili peppers over the last week or two. Say, hey, where's the after party at? Because that was the last day of their tour. And so uh, at the somewhere near the end of the concert, Flea goes, uh, the after party is somewhere. And I didn't hear where he said, but then uh, Anthony Kiedis goes, no, after party 3 a.m. at Waffle House. 
but I had to work early this morning, so I did not go. I wonder which concert I'll go to next, man. This is Interpol. I've seen them a couple times. They're amazing. I wonder who I'll go see next. All right. God bless everyone. Stay cool. Talk to y'all soon. Peace out. What the heck?